I lived here for, uh, I think it's like a year and a half now. And so before that, when, when, we were, when I was living in my van, uh, it, it seemed like I was in a hole so deep, man, I couldn't even see the sky from the bottom of the hole, right? And you'd think you're, you're never, there's no way I'm ever gonna get out of the hole, right? I'm just stuck, I'm just, this is where I'm gonna be. And, well, let me back up a little bit. First, I, I lost my job that I had for like 30 years, almost 30 years, um, 20 something at this company in printing. And then I got laid off and then two months later I got hit by the drunk driver. Then I became homeless. And then that just kind of sent me on a, a downward spiral. <laughs> when I look back at it, it was just, uh, everything was a struggle for me, even though I worked the whole most of the time, right? It was, uh, for some reason I, I would, uh, I always had a hard time calling some a place home, right? Until, you know, me and Romy moved in here. And so everything that I have in here, just about everything except for the TV is from Bridging and the hats, the hats are from Bridging. Well, I can't remember the young man's name that, that, that helped me pick the stuff out, right? I would kind of give him a list. I give a list, then he would kind of walk around and ask me if I like this or that. Other than being there, I mean, it was just like being there. And then he would, he had some things in mind when, from a, uh, the paperwork I'd filled out, so he go he like have suggestions for me, like what do you think of this and this and I got like uh, my favorite color is red, so he had to like, a lot of red things picked up for me, right? So it was kind of kind of cool that way. And my dog, God rest his soul, he really enjoyed like the furniture too, and I mean he'd sleep on the bed with me, and I had built a little ramp for him so he could get up on the bed because he was so little, so you would climb up, come up the ramp, and then just come lay by me. So he uh, he got as much enjoyment out of as I did for sure. If you ask for help and, and people put you in, in contact with the right people, that you will uh, find that um, all the donations that you, um, that you will give to Bridging will, um, will, will give people hope who, like me, not that long ago, thought that I was in a hole so deep that I couldn't see this, literally couldn't see the sky, right? That there's plenty of people probably in the same boat that I am that maybe hear this and, uh, and they'll need some help too. And so your donations um, certainly will, will give them the hope and uh, the peace and the serenity that, uh, that they could use in their life as well.